Hi, Ms. Godfrey here. This is day seven questions. It says, answer questions one through eight. Number one, on a sunny day, Anna places a plastic dish filled with water on her lawn. Plastic dish filled with water out on the lawn. After an hour, she observes that the water has become warm. What made the water warm? Well, she put it on her lawn and it was uncovered and it was a sunny day. So I think that the thermal energy, the radiation from the sun probably started to heat up the water. So I'm predicting this. I didn't look at the choices. You'll note. A, emissions by the blades of grass from the lawn. I literally said nothing like that. I know that the water got warm because of radiation from the sun. B, convection in the water dish. That probably would have happened as it got warm, but that's not what made it warm. Conduction in the material or radiation given off by the sun. See, it is crucial that you trust yourself that if you predict it, you probably know the science and the answer is going to be there. Remember, having a piece of paper to write down your prediction makes it more solid so that you don't get tricked and change your mind and don't trust yourself that you knew it. All right, number two, Anna fills a metal pan with water and places the pan on a stove to boil. She drops a piece of pasta in the pan of boiling water and observes that it rises to the top of the pan gets pushed to the side, sinks to the bottom, rises, and so on. Oh, it sounds like it's, y'all, yeah, a convection current because it's rising and it's going down and it's rising and it's going down and it's in the middle of a hot water, air, water atmosphere. So I think I know what it is, especially when, you know, it told me that the pasta was making like a current by going up and going back down. So I think you know this. Number three. Which, and the choices are conduction A, convection B, evaporation C, radiation D. Which action represents conduction only? So I know conduction is touch. So A, boiling a pot of soup. Since soup is liquid, I think that's convection. Ironing a shirt, touch. Does the iron touch the shirt? Maybe. C, blow drying wet hair. To me, blow drying would be air, and that would be more like convection. Warming marshmallows over a fire. Ooh, fire and sun. What is that? Tell me. Say it out loud. I know you know. It says fire. Fire and sun. Yeah, you said it. It's radiation. All right. So I know only one can be touching, and I know the answer to that one now. Number four, during an activity, a student fills a beaker with 200 milliliters of water, places a thermometer in the water, and places the beaker in the sun. After one hour, the student observes that the temperature of the water increases by six degrees Celsius. Radiation is the sun. By which method does heat energy transfer from the sun to the water? All right. I think I kind of gave that away, but I don't think there's any problem with that because you already would have seen the sun, right? And saw that it was in the sun, and then you would have known because it said sun twice, right? You knew what it was. You, it doesn't matter that I kind of helped there because you already knew that. Sun and fire, radiation. All right, number four, three. Before studying heat transfer, a group of students create a list of things they think they know about the topic. Which statements are correct? Ooh, okay. So convection occurs in liquids and gases. Is that true? Conduction, touch. Convection, air, water, atmosphere. Is air, air is a gas, water is liquid, convection, liquid, gases. So I know, is one true? Is one true? I, I, yeah, it is because it says convection is in liquids and gases. So no matter what, now y'all look, it has to be either A or B because I know that convection is in liquids and gases and then C and D don't have one as one of the choices. So that narrows it down really well. Now I just have to decide if two or three is right. Two, radiation only occurs between objects in direct contact. Y'all, is radiation direct contact? I know you know. We just like in the last one said radiation is what? Yep, sun and fire. So do you think two is right? 
which leads me to my answer, right? Because if two isn't right, there's only one thing it can be. But let's look at number three. Conduction transfers heat from warmer to cooler object. Now, that's true. It doesn't say anything about touching, but it's true. All right, I know two is not right. Let's go see if four is right. Conduction and convection cannot occur together. No, that's not true because couldn't you put something, well, the air would be even touching the water or you could put water directly onto a heat source. And then like a pan on the stove that had water in it would be touching and then the touching of the heat would transfer the water into the, um, or the heat into the water. So I do think that we found our best answer. Let's see, three, conduction tra transfers heat from warmer to cooler. Well, everything transfers heat from warmer to cooler, so that is correct. All right, I think we know our best answer. All right, number six. On a summer day, a puddle of water on the road heats up and evaporates, turning water, turning into water vapor. How does heat transfer occur? So I'm going to predict because, look, there's a whole bunch of long choices, and that makes it really hard to figure out sometimes. I know that when you have water on the road, the sunlight would hit the water, and that would be radiation, right? And then the radiation would then make the water vapor start to go up in the air, which would be like convection, because remember how we said the water cycle is a convection current? All right, so I think I'd be looking maybe for like radiation from the sun and then the water going up, with con which is convection. So A, the sun transfers heat by conduction. No, because it's not touching. So I'm going to not even read any further because I know I predicted that the sun would heat the water with radiation. B, the sun transfers heat by conduction. Do we need to read farther or do we already know for sure that it's radiation? Then the next one says the sun transfers heat by convection and the road transfers heat by radiation. Oh, the sun does that. So now D, the sun transfers heat by radiation, which is literally what we predicted, and the road transfers heat by convection and conduction. So the road conducts heat to the water and the water raises through convection. There's only one that can be right no matter what, because we know the sun is, is radiation when the sun gets the water hot. All right, number seven. Ginger poured a cold milk, poured cold milk into a cup of hot tea. What type of energy transfer occurred most efficiently between the milk and the tea? Hmm. So when you put the cold milk into the hot tea, I noticed that the cold milk usually blends in kind of right away. So I would think it has to be something about convection. So I would go with convection on this one, even though that's kind of a weird question. I know it's not radiation because that's the sun. Transformation is not part of heat transfer. I know that the cold milk touches the hot tea, but this is really all about liquid, so I probably wouldn't pick that because if it's literally a liquid, then I would probably go with convection because it's heat transfer in air, water, atmosphere, liquids, gases. All right, number eight. For a class project, a student lists two examples, each that demonstrate conduction and convection. Which table accurately displays examples of conduction and convection? A, a metal spoon becomes warm when placed in a cup of hot soup. A metal spoon becomes warm when placed in. Oh, is that conduction when the metal is in the soup, when it touches it? And then it says a cloth becomes warm from the heat of an iron. Oh, that's touching. So A could be right so far, but let's look at convection. Pasta rises and falls in boiling water. We just had a question like that. The water at the base, which is the bottom of the pool, feels cooler because cool sinks and warm rises. I think we probably found our answer, but let's look. Microwave, that's not conduction. That'd be more radiation slash C. Conduction, a metal spoon becomes warm when placed in a cup of soup. That's conduction. Heat from a stove boils the water in a pan placed on the stove. 
That means some conductions. Our hands become warm when we place them on heating pads. That's touching, so that's conduction, not convection, slash. And then pasta rises and falls in a pot of boiling water. Is that conduction? No, that's convection, slash. So now we know what our answers are. All right, well, thank you for taking the time to watch the video. And uh, make sure that you let me know if, for instance, if you get yellow or red and you want to try again. Because I believe in you. I know you can get green. I know you can do it. I love you. Stay safe. Stay well.